Let us begin with the definition of community. Community is defined as a social group of any size whose members reside in a specific locality, share government, and often have a common cultural and historical heritage. A social, religious, occupational, or other group sharing common characteristics or interest and perceive or perceive itself as distinct in some respect for our larger society. In the last 20 years, the internet has made possible to build online communities. This hyperconnectivity between people has been able to build literally virtual worlds who are present in time and space. When we talk about the world of Warcraft, we can say that it's one of the best and most incredible games of all times. With reaching more than 12 million users, it's just incredible. Online communities such as this are based in communities, which they call guilds. As the one we have down here, it's just an example of what a World of Warcraft community looks like. The World of Warcraft takes place in the fantasy world of Atheroth, which has two continents which are Kalimdur and the Eastern Kingdoms. In order to play this game, the user must create an avatar and choose between two factions, the Alliance and the Horde. It's two factions, the Alliance and the Horde, you have total access between your alliance. However, you can only send small text with your opponents. What makes the World of Warcraft so important in terms to analyze why is it a real community? Well, to think about this, let's begin by saying that every day hundreds of online communities are created. And the World of Warcraft it's THE online community. Gamers from all of the Western Hemisphere and many parts of the world have discovered this as a way to be social, to interact with other groups of people, to participate in quests, in raids, even in weddings and funerals. Yes, you heard right? Weddings and funerals. As the video down below, we can see that players have really, really bond together and created a real community, an online community. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without the internet. But, but still, Blizzard Entertainment has made possible for teams of players to go outside the virtual world and get together in houses and or go to convention centers and play each other to world domination or any other quest. It is just so fascinating how they interact, how they create an identity, how they become more self-aware of what's their reality. And according to some researchers, their social skills, their personal skills have improved making new friends even outside this world and connecting into a deeper level a human level although we all know they're just virtual designs and avatars but still it gets to be a real community i haven't played much of this game but i can guarantee you that after this presentation I will totally download it, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting, uh, you know, like, one of the good guys, I guess. Thank you so much, we'll continue with the presentation.